Last week, former Saints player Glenn Foster Jr. died in police custody in Alabama. Today, Foster family attorney Ben Crump announced results from an autopsy ordered by the family. The story from WGNO's Anna McAllister. Glenn Foster Jr. did not die of natural causes. New revelations about the death of former Saints player Glenn Foster Jr. come to light. Family attorney Ben Crump says an independent autopsy revealed disturbing new details. The initial findings uh, found that there was some evidence of neck compression and strangulation. Foster Jr. was arrested in Pickens County, Alabama nearly two weeks ago after police stopped him for speeding. Shortly after his arrest, Foster Jr. died in police custody. Little information has been shared about what led to his death, but loved ones revealed Foster Jr. struggled with mental health issues. They were doing everything in their power, working with the uh, local officials there before he got into the custody of the Sheriff's Department to make sure he got the appropriate help. They never expected him to end up dead while in the custody of the Sheriff's Department. Crump adds the Foster family is still waiting for autopsy results from the medical examiner in Alabama. The longer it goes without them saying anything, the more suspicious they become about them trying to sweep his death under the rug. As for the Foster family, Crump says they're besides themselves in grief. They are all devastated because instead of celebrating for Christmas holidays, they're having to bury this young man who was taken from this earth far too soon. Crump added that the Foster family is demanding transparency in this investigation, including the release of any body camera video from the night of his arrest. Foster was 31 years old. He leaves behind a wife, four young daughters, his parents and siblings. Kurt. Anna McAllister reporting for us. Thank you, Anna.